Hey, so I don't know if you guys saw this, but it looks like um, Jasmine Crockett, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and AOC kind of had a little cat fight to, uh, yesterday in the Congress. Let's just watch a bit of this unhinged nonsense, and then we'll talk about it after. advance i mean that was just two minutes of absolute nonsense i mean and you know what's funny a lot of people will make fun of oh look at these morons you know, aoc and marjorie taylor green and jasmine crockett oh they just they're just a bunch of dramatic cry maybes who put them in office <clears throat> anyone want to take accountability if you're an american viewer you want to take some accountability here i'm not saying you necessarily voted for one of these people but this is not the first time these kind of things happen in the, in the House of Congress. And it, it's high school. It's it's not even high school. It's kindergarten. You know, what is this? Like, they're just, just as insulting each other. And just even before the insults started to happen, you know, one of the ladies was asking Marjorie Taylor Greene, oh, do you know why you're here? It's like, why even say something that's going to spark something contra or con uh, confrontational like that? And then, of course, Marjorie Taylor Greene just goes way over the top and starts talking. I mean, it was funny, but it's ridiculous. And it's the American people who are allowing this to happen every day. They vote these people in. They voted Trump in. They voted Biden in. They voted, you know, Pete Buttigieg. I can't remember what his official position is. I mean, Gavin Newsom. Like, what, what the fuck are you people thinking? And when I say you people, I mean Americans. Like, Jesus Christ, we're not the smartest up here in Canada, but I don't like this whole agreement where Canadians are smarter than Americans. No, 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 we're stupid too, trust me. But what is this? The way you're putting these people in office and they're making it a, a mockery of the entire country. For what? What do they actually get done other than these catty insults to each other? Nothing. Isn't there more important shit to do? Aren't there, like, innocent people dying in Ukraine, in Russia, in Yemen, in Syria, in Somalia? In Somalia? Shouldn't we, you know, if you can't get along, just stay in separate rooms, stay in your little corners like a bunch of fucking babies that you are, and get some shit done so we can stop killing people, you fucks. What are you doing? It's just... 
it was funny at first, but the, the more you, the, you see about this kind of stuff and the more you talk about it, it just gets really annoying. This is why we need someone like RFK Jr. in there, someone who's actually even keeled and can control himself for at least a couple fucking minutes. This is absurd. And this is one of the many reasons why politics sucks, because people don't pay attention to it, but they get a vote and they vote in morons like this. So that's going to be it for this video. Sorry there for the uh, little rant. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm glad I glad I said that because it's true. Nothing, nothing wrong that I said there at all. People putting other stupid people into fucking office and they complain about the people and they vote for them again or someone else like them. That's going to be it though for today's video. I'll be back shortly with another one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back.